Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know, everybody ought to know, everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Hello everybody, hello, hello and hello. Hello Frederica and the crew, Erica and MJ and Sunise, Sanaya. Robin, Amari, Joy, Dream, hello, 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 and everybody else that's on there that I cannot see. Hi, how are you doing today? My name is Miss Karen Fletcher, how do you do? My name is Miss Karen Fletcher, how do you do? We are so glad, so very glad to see you. How do you do? Serena, Sine, Aiden, how do you do? Naomi, Charlotte, and Dana, how do you do? We are so glad, so very glad to see you. How do you do? Hey, Jason, how are you? How is everybody? Oh, I am so glad that you all are here today and we can continue our lesson. Wait, guys, tell me, tell me, tell me, what has been the theme this week? Kind of. Well, no, it's not kind of. What has been the theme this week of our lessons? Do you all know what that has been? And if you can remember our memory verse, that will really clue you in to what we've been kind of working on this week. All right, hey, Miss Deborah Jackson, how are you? What has been the theme of our of our study this week? You know, I was thinking about it. I was saying like, man, I do. We used to do vacation Bible school in the summer and we did it for five days a week and we had a theme. And I'm like, man, I do vacation Bible school every day. <laughs> five days a week all right well you all I it's taking you a little too long to get to it so I'm just going to tell you hi Danita and Charlotte how are you the theme of our lesson this week is God has I'm looking I'm looking I'm looking like maybe somebody's gonna say it let me see let me see Is somebody gonna say it no okay God has a plan for your life. God has a plan for everyone's life. When we were created, he created us with a plan for our lives. It does not matter what your parents thought when you were born. Mm, I told you, my youngest one, Aaron, was a surprise. <laughs> he was he was not initially part of my plan, but he was a part of God's plan. And I cannot imagine life without him today. But God has a plan for everyone's life. And what we've got to do is stay connected to the Lord by way of praise, prayer, reading the word, or wherever we are in life. Make sure you're praying to him and praising to him. And you will find out your plan. You will find out the plan that he has for you. Now, sometimes because you're young, it unfolds slowly. But as you get older, you'll look back and there are things that you learn way back when and you'll be able to use that this time and later and later and later. And later. I can remember when I was a young girl, I used to read the Bible. I would read the Bible. Oh my goodness. My parents bought me. It was called the revised version. Revised version standard yeah revised version standard it was a white bible i think i was eight years old and i would read that bible i would read the old testament and i would just read it read it read it read it read it read it read it, read it. i read the new testament too but i just loved hearing the various accounts 
of the people in the Old Testament. Who would have ever thunk that I would be teaching it today? Who would have ever thought? My mother was a teacher. She used to teach the little children. And I said, nope, that won't be me. I will not be a teacher. I, I think I missed my teaching, my calling for teaching in elementary school because I may have been able to do that. But I definitely have not missed my calling in teaching the Word of God to children. He gives you the desires of your heart. He changed my desire to His. And so now I enjoy doing what I do. God has a plan for your life. So we're going to continue. We're going to continue to study about God and the plan that He has for various people's lives in the Bible. And you'll see that He had a plan for your life life for the adults here do, can you do you can you bear witness to the fact that God had a plan for your life yes I'm looking at some people right now and I know that what they're doing now may not have been what they thought they were going to do but they were kind of they kind of liked some of this and ended up using what God have for them. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for your graciousness, your graciousness towards us. I thank you for your grace and your mercy that you give us every day. I thank you, Lord, that you do have a plan for our lives and every day we should seek your face to find out your will for us this day in our lives. God, I pray that we will get that in our hearts to seek you daily to find out what it is you want us to do, to find out how you want us to be a witness, to find out how you want us to live, to find out how you want us to gather, to learn, and give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So, let's go. Our lesson, our lesson, our lesson today comes from Jeremiah. Yes, we're going to go to Jeremiah. And we'll go right there at the first, oh, oh my goodness. We'll go with the uh, first chapter of Jeremiah. First chapter of Jeremiah. And it says, we'll go the NLT version. And it says, these are the words of Jeremiah, son of Hilkiah, one of the priests from the town of Anathoth in the land of Benjamin. The Lord first gave messages to Jeremiah during the 13th year of the reign of Josiah, son of Ammon, king of Judah. The Lord's messages continued throughout the reign of King Jehoiakim, Josiah's son, until the 11th year of the reign of King Zedekiah, another uh, son of Josiah. In August of the 11th year, the people of Jerusalem were taken away Captive. So that's just giving you a very concise time that the Lord spoke to to uh, Jeremiah, what he was doing and who was king when he heard the voice of God. So now we're going to go to the fourth verse and it says, the Lord gave me this message. So this is Jeremiah talking. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb, before you were born. I set you apart and appointed you as my prophet to the nations. O oh, sovereign Lord, Jeremiah said, I can't speak for you. I'm too young. The Lord replied, don't say I'm too young, for you must go wherever I send you and say whatever I tell you. And don't be afraid of the people, for I will be with you and I will protect you. I, the Lord, have spoken. Then the Lord reached out and touched my mouth and said, so he reached out and touched Jeremiah's mouth. Look, I have put my words in your mouth. Today, I appoint you to stand up against nations and kingdoms. Some you must uproot and tear down, destroy and overthrow. Others you must build up and plant. Then the Lord said to me, Look, Jeremiah, what do you see? And Jeremiah replied, I see a branch from an almond tree. From an almond tree. And the Lord said, that's right. And it means that I am watching 
and will certainly carry out all my plans. And that's where we're going to stop right there. This is where our lesson is found. Before Jeremiah was formed in his mother's womb, before you were formed in your mother's womb, before your mother ever got pregnant, God had a plan for your life. Yes. Now, as as you read this, as you as I was reading this, it says um where is it? When uh, Jeremiah said, uh, Lord, I can't speak for you. I'm too young. And God said, you know, don't worry about what you're going to speak. No, he said, stop saying that you're too young. The Lord said, don't say I'm too young. For you must go wherever I send you and whatever I tell you, you must say. Now, Jeremiah had a choice. Jeremiah had a choice. He could have said, no, I'm too young and I'm just not going to go and say it. I'm not going where you tell me to go. But Jeremiah followed the plan of God. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, in Jeremiah following the plan of God, it was rough and it was rocky. But Jeremiah was so sure in what God said that at one point when you read through the book of Jeremiah, they threw him in this muddy well because he spoke what God said for him to say. And they didn't want to hear it. They didn't want to hear it. He's speaking the truth and they didn't want to hear it. And they threw him into this muddy well. But oh God, God, God. And, and he just had to go. You know, it wasn't, oh, I changed my mind. No, that's not what God said. He did not change his mind. He spoke what God said. When they threw him in that, that well, this Ethiopian guy came and he pulled him out of that well. And then Jeremiah spoke again. He got to speak again and again. And Jeremiah got to live out the life that God had planned for him. Even though the children of Israel were being taken captive and all of that, Jeremiah got to live, God said, Oh, don't, you don't go with them. You stay here. And so, you know, we've got to learn to follow the plan that God has for our lives. Sometimes, everybody will want to go this way. And God will say, nope, you don't go that way. I want you to go this way. And that's what you've got to do. Sometimes, everybody will want, God will say, or your parents. Your parents will say, now this is what I want you to do. I want you to stay here. I want you to do this and this and this and this will help you along the way. But all of your friends are doing something different. And they're all doing the same something different. And so then they said, well, hey, come on, come on. You could do this. You could do this. And you're like, well, you know, my parents told me. They were like, no, well, you know, everybody, everybody's doing it. I'll never forget that when I was in high school. And this girl told me, well, everybody is doing this. And my, re my response to her was, not this body not this body and I did not follow them I did not go with where they went I did not do what they did and I thank God that I had a resolve to obey my parents and to honor God and we've got to get that resolve you got to get that resolve that I am going to obey my parents I am going to honor God when you honor God you'll learn to obey your parents Sometimes it, it might seem like they just want to take the fun out of life. Oh my God, parents. Mm -mm. All they can do is come up with do your chores. Do your homework. Uh, did you do this? Did you, sometimes it just seems like they want to take the fun out of life. Mm -mm, nope, nope, nope. They are trying to build character in you. Good character. Because everybody got some character. Some people have some funny character. Some people have some very vile character, you know. They'll be known as the thief. That's the characteristics they have. They don't have good character. They have bad character. But not everybody has integrity. And when you're walking in the will of God, you have integrity. You don't change. You don't change when people see you and when people don't. You don't change. And so that's how, that's how Jeremiah was. He had integrity. He was a person of integrity. Samuel was a person of integrity. 
David was a person of integrity. As you read the different people in the Bible, they have integrity. Do you have integrity? When your mother's not looking, when your father's not looking, do you change? Do you do the wrong thing? Do you make bad choices? Oh, no. We want to be people of integrity. There's not good integrity or bad integrity. There's only integrity. Integrity is sure. It's steady. It's firm. It does not change. And it's a good thing. Now, character. Remember, character changes. Mm-hmm. Character can change. Character can change. But integrity, it stands. It is the same day and night. Night and day. And so that's what we studied today. We studied about Jeremiah and how God had to talk to Jeremiah and he'll talk to you. And God had to tell Jeremiah who he was because of God. And God told him, don't be afraid of them. He said, um, mm, where is that at? He said, and don't, in verse 8, he said, and don't be afraid of the people, for I will be with you and I will protect you. I, the Lord, have spoken. And that just sounds like the verse that I have picked for my theme verse this year. And everybody should know what my theme verse this year is. I'm going to tell you again. It says, and don't be afraid of the people, for I will be with you and I will protect you. I, the Lord, have spoken. Deuteronomy 31 and 8. Do you all remember that? Anybody remember Deut Deuteronomy 31 and 8? The Lord is the one who goes ahead of you. And he is with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. I'm going to, I'm sometimes, you know, we've learned enough verses where I need to go back and pull some of these verses up to make sure they are in your heart as well as in your head. Or sometimes if we don't go over them, they will kind of disappear out of your head and you'll forget them. So I, some of our verses will be recalled recalls but this is not a recall it just happens to be I see it in this verse right here and don't be afraid of the people for I will be with you and I will protect you I the Lord have spoken and then that also sounds like the first verse of Psalm 91 and 1 he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty yes God he's right there you're if you abide with God, you can be under his shadow and he will protect you. Aren't you glad? I'm going to tell you I'm glad. Because sometimes I think I get assignments. This assignment right here. This assignment to, to teach this every day. I, when I first started, and I don't think I'm over it. But when I first started, I was fearful. I was like, God, what am I going to say? How am I going to do this? And he was just, do it. Just do it. It's like, okay, got it. And I need this. Do it. You got it. And things that I thought I needed, things that I needed, they were provided. God just made a way and those things happened. So we're just going to trust God always, okay? So what's our, what's our, 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 I remember our song for today. Our Bible song is God can do anything. I forgot who said it. I forgot who said it. Thank you, thank you. But this is our song. Somebody said it yesterday. And so we're going to sing, God can do anything. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Here we go. God can do anything, anything, anything. Oh, God can do anything but fail. He can save. He can heal. It's all according to his will. Oh, God can do anything but fail. Anything, 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 anything. Oh, God can do anything but fail. He can do anything, 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 oh God can do anything but fail. Come on one more time. 
God can do anything, anything, anything. Oh, God can do anything but fail. He can save, He can heal. It's all according to His will. Oh, God can do anything. do anything, anything but fail. Woo! That's a good thing to know. That's a good thing to know. Okay, our Bible verse for today comes from Jeremiah, remember? Jeremiah 29, 11. Do you all remember that? I'm so glad you all were singing with me. I know that MJ was singing. I know he was singing. Thank you, Miss Danita and Dana. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so our, our memory verse today comes from Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for calamity to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and you will then you will call up then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all of your heart. Now, of course I have another rhythm for that and I should have put that in my ear so I could hear it. But we're going to go with um Jeremiah 29 and 12 and that is then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you <clears throat> then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. You will seek me and find me when you search for me and with all your heart. Then you will call up me. Then you will call up on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all of your heart. And that's God talking to us. He said that to Jeremiah. He's saying that to us. He's saying that to us, that he has a plan for us. It's a plan to give us a good life. Plans for welfare and not for calamity. To give us a future and a hope. All we have to do is call upon him. All we have to do is pray to him. All we have to do is listen to him. We will seek him and find him when we search him with all of our heart. Okay. So, now that's our memory verse and they, they come from Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13. Now, what is our fun song for today? Fun song. What's the fun song for today? Fun song, fun song. I'm looking for the fun song. Mmm. Fun song. Bingo. Oh, bingo is the fun song? All right. Because it, oh, it just came up on my phone. All right, so we're going to do bingo. You ready? Here we go. <clears throat> There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, B I N G O, B I N G O, B I N G O, and Bingo was his name. 
name. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh. was his name. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, N-G-O, N-G-O, N-G-O and bingo was his name. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, Gio and Bingo was his name. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, 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 and Bingo was his name. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh. And bingo was his name. Oh. All right, well, it has been a, my privilege being with you today, and I hope you all have had a good time. I hope you had a wonderful time with the lesson, knowing that God has a plan for even your life. Hello, Miss Marilyn and Madison. God has a plan for Miss Marilyn's life and Madison's life, Dana's life, Jason's life, Serena's life. Aiden's life, Naomi's life, Sanae's life, Sanaya's life, Sanice's life, Robin's life, MJ's life, Amari's life. I'm trying to remember names that I saw. Dream's life, Joy's life, uh, Pastor Darius is a pastor, and oh, it was just so many names. Frederica, Danita, Charlotte. He has a plan for everybody's life. Make sure you stay connected to him with prayer. You know, it says you will you will seek me and you will come to me in prayer and then you will listen to me. And so that's what we've got to do. Make sure you do that. OK, it is so important. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for your word. Your word is truth. It does not change. It will last throughout eternity, God. And we thank you for the truth that has been planted in our hearts as we read your word, as we've heard your word, as we sing about your word. It does not change. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for the time that we put in today. Bless. Just continue to bless and let us walk in the blessings that you have provided for us this day. In Jesus' name. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know, everybody ought to know who Jesus is. That's right. Everybody ought to know. Make sure you share him and have a wonderful rest of your day.